Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to implement a round advice. So this is the project I had created in my previous video tutorial. Uh, there we had implemented before and after advice. So let's make a, another copy of the same project in the, this workspace. And I would give the project name as a spring. UOP around advice around advice using XML. Now let me close the previous project. Oh, sorry, I was supposed to close another project. So let's close this project and here is the UOP around advice. Now in this project basically we had defined this aspect class. We have created this java class and we had defined two methods and this one we had registered as a before advice and another method we had registered as a after advice in xml file so here i'm going to add one more method is called public and return type i would give the object and i would give the method name as around advice and this will take a parameter is called proceeding the join points right and as I said you earlier around advice is the combination of, of all four advices like before after after returning and after throwing so this API I am going to this SOP I am going to paste in the beginning of this around advice so now we don't need this before advice now we have a put joining points right so join points we can use and here we can call the proceed method right so that once you call the proceed method then after advice will be called so and proceed throws and check the session so we need to handle in the try catch so we have a catch block and if some exception arises in the catch block I mean try block then uh, I mean control will go to the X catch block right so here I mean we can uh, do the job which is done by the after throwing advice right so here in catch block you can say get message so this is the job done by the after throwing advice now here i can declare object bje ct object equal to not right and return type of this proceed method is the object and finally we can return make a return a statement and there we can return the object and before the return we can write a statement which is for after advice right so once you call the proceed method then after return advice will be called and this is your i mean whatever you are storing in the object right so this is your after returning advice so here if i if we call this method and in this method does not have any return type so let's make a return type as account right and return the same object same account object so in this object whatever object if i call this api from the client program then this method returns the account and account object will be stored in this object instance now my agenda is to make use of after before after after returning after throwing advice right and within the around advice now what i will do when i call the around advice then i would like to calculate the time taken execution time taken by this api so that easily we can calculate over here right so when this before this method getting called we can calculate the start time right so we have a system class 
system dot uh, current time in mill is right and this will return us the I mean started time so we can say s yes time and when after uh, advice will be called then we can record the in time right and finally we can print the total time total execution time taken by this method so total execution time taken by method and method name dynamically we can retrieve right so here we are retrieving the method name dynamically is and here we can calculate time take total time taken by this method so e time in time minus sorry minus s time and this time we will have to print in the milliseconds this will give you time in the milliseconds so that's all now around advice we have defined in this advice class now we have to make change in the this configuration file in this configuration file we have defined eop config within the eop config we have defined point cut and point cut id i have given select all and we have a eop aspect and this class we have registered as the aspect class right and they are in previous tutorial we had defined before and after advice so now we are going to define around advice so let's make use of eop namespace and we have a eop colon around advice right here you need to specify the method name advice method name so advice method name is around advice around advice and here we need to specify the point cut reference as well so we have already defined the point cut so this reference is id we can assign here and that's it we are done now go to the client program and from client program we can make call to this api right so whenever we call this api so around advice will be called we have register around advice right so here package name we have given this one right in this package we have a class this and then we have defined this point cut expression for all methods right and method may take any no, number of parameters so this point cut expression is basically matching with our this api so when we call this api then around advice will be called so these are the sop wherever we have written sop except i mean catch log all sop will be printed so if i call client program then let's see so look at here so before method so if i compare from this code advice code so this got printed right this is job of before advice so this is done by the before advice so earlier so now in around advice we are very much capable to call before advice right here we are printing the method name and class name now this sop came from our service layer right here we are printing the account number as well as amount right now we have a after calling proceed method just be uh, printing after advice this is the job of our uh, after advice in earlier project project so after advice which is also printing the method name as well as class name and finally total time uh, total execution time taken to execute this method we are printing in this advice right so total execution time taken by this advice uh, total time taken total execution time taken by this method is 64 milliseconds so this is also we are able to print so that's why i told you around advice is combination of before after after returning and after throwing advice 
so here I if I put some debug point and if I run this application in debug mode say yes now my control is here press F6 for line by line debugging if you look into the content of this object so here up in object reference I mean proxy object has been created and proxy object uh, of account is created and assigned to this reference right so here you can see the account number as well as account description is here here this object you can typecast into the account and if you if you want to do uh, I mean some manipulations you can do and uh, uh, I mean account info if you want to print in the logger file then those kind of stuff you can do right so let me cancel this thread so that's all I wanted to show you in this video tutorial here basically I want to show you how to implement a round advice using XML on XML configuration so in next video tutorial I am going to convert the same project in annotation base so see you there guys till that happy learning